Hey, Google Workspace and Cloud Identity Admins, this is Goldie again, and in this video, in this video, I'll show you how you can set up a Google Cloud Identity on a subdomain. Uh, there might be different use cases, maybe you will want to just try out Google Cloud Platform or something else. In my use case, I want to try out Google's Beyond Corp or Zero Trust uh, product. That's why uh, I'm signing up for Google Cloud Identity, which is like a pre-requirement to, you know, evaluate or assess Google Cloud Platform or Google Beyond Corp. For you, it may be something else, but let me just tell you uh, before I share the demonstration that you should not uh, straight away just jump to sign up for Cloud Identity on your subdomain, even if you are doing just the evaluation. Because later, once you are done with your evaluation and now you have decided to transition to Google Cloud Platform or start using Google Cloud Platform, then you will need to like uh, either migrate everything that you did in that subdomain to your primary domain or maybe let it go and start from you know square one on your primary domain. So instead, you should start with your primary domain. It will not impact your existing setup that whatever you have with other yeah. systems. So before I show you the demonstration, just a bit of caution that always start with the primary domain. Subdomain is really for very uh, rare uh, situations, okay? So anyways, I'll still show you how to set that up. So I'll move myself in the corner somewhere and I'll go for Google and say Google Cloud Identity Free Sign Up. I'll click on this first link and it says Sign Up for Cloud Identity Free. I'll click on that, click on Next, and I will mention my business name. Uh, I'll just say maybe 2 to 9, Next. And here you can, you know, select your, where is your business located. This should be your email address where you can receive an email because uh, Google will send you some terms of service and you can also use that later to recover uh, from your for, uh, forget password situation. So I will say my email is admin at my domain dot com. And now it is asking for the domain on which I want to set up Google Cloud Identity. I'm setting it up to just a second guys I'm so sorry for that give me a sec Go. okay sorry about that so uh, in my case I'm uh, evaluating or testing uh, Google Beyond Corp I'm making a video series on that so I thought why not just set up uh, set that up on a separate domain which is a subdomain instead of purchasing a new domain so my domain will be BCE, which stands for beyondcorpenterprise.goldiroar.com. I put that domain and click on next. It says use this domain to set up. Yes, it says warning, this domain hasn't been configured to send and receive emails. As you know, uh, MX records are kind of essentially point to your mail servers uh, that are not pointed yet to this domain. That's fine, I'm not gonna use Google email services on this domain, so I'll click on next. And here I can create the first uh, admin account. And this will be the super admin. So be cautious because this administrator can do things like he can create other admins. He can even delete the account. Okay, so for me, it will be myself. I'll click on next. And here I will be choosing my first super admin email address. So I'll say admin at bcemydomain.com. I'm going to give password click on next uh, and it says educate your users if I want I can set that up saying okay and then Google will keep sending some you know informational emails to my users I'm not setting up Google workspace on this domain yet so I'll send no thanks here and it says you're almost done creating your Google account just prove that you're a human so I'll try to do that uh, fire hydrant so one two and three and four okay Okay, very fine. Okay, this is done. It says agree and create account. Okay, so now we have registered our domain with Google, but Google also needs to verify that we actually own this domain. We are not just signing up with somebody else's domain on which we are asking Google to offer services. So for that, 
Uh, first, let's log into the new account that we created, and it says it has detected some unusual activity. So I will enter my phone number here. Okay, it says enter the verification code, which is three four six nine six nine. Okay, it shows me some terms of uh, service. Make sure you read it if you have time and then accept it. Once uh, you do that, you will be landing to your newly created administration console where you will be doing things like managing your identities, creating your users, etc. But before that happens, Google wants you to verify that you indeed own this domain to avoid you know, any kind of abuse of your system. And for that, I will click on verify. Now, Google will detect that you know, this domain might be uh, before we start using Google Workspace, BC, okay? So now it shows either I can go with TXT verification, which is a DNS-based uh, verification, or I can click here and switch uh, the verification method, okay? I'm fine with TXT, so I'll just keep that selected, click on continue, and now Google says, take this string, and point bce.goldiraw.com to this string. Okay, so for that, I will go to Google Domains, okay, where I have my domains hosted. I'll click on Manage Domains. I will click on the domain, then I'll go to DNS. Under DNS, I will click on uh, Manage Custom Records. And I have a lot of records here, so I'll scroll down to the bottom and create one more. Okay, let's create a new record, and the record type uh, will be TXT. Okay, so I'll say TXT. And uh, now the host name should be bce.goldiraw.com. So it really depends how your DNS takes it. So if I say BCE, you will see at the bottom that it's taking it as bce.goldiraw.com. This is what I want. And then the host name uh, was BC and the value should be the one that Google gives me. So I'm gonna copy this string, come back here, paste that value and say save, okay? Now, uh, it, it really depends uh, how much time your DNS will take to reflect that changes in all the DNS uh, servers. Uh, once that's done, I'll come back here, scroll down and I'll say that I've made the changes as suggested, so please verify my domain. It may take a few minutes, but let's see. Okay, so within a couple of minutes, uh, my domain bc.goldera.com was verified. So this is how uh, you set that up. Now the next step will be to create users and groups and memberships and organizational units to build some sort of uh, hierarchy in our uh, Google Admin Console. And then later, uh, we can use this hierarchy to apply different level of, uh, different level of policies and controls to different subset of users and for that i'll uh, make further videos with that thank you so much if you have any questions comments or feedback do not hesitate to put that under this video and i'll be happy to collaborate thank you